Hello everyone, and um, welcome to this week's video on the Rest of Saga Classic Car Restoration YouTube channel. Um, this week is another product review. I've been fortunate enough to invest in some new tools recently, as I'm sure you've seen in other videos, but this week I'm talking about my new grease gun. Again, not very exciting, but pretty essential maintenance tool for all my classics, including the 1969 MGB GT you see here, as well as the Land Rover and the Morris Minor, as they all have various bits and bobs that need greased on a regular basis. So um, I bought this laser um, handheld grease gun from Halfords, which here it is here in the UK is an automotive parts chain. It came in this box. And I also bought, as you can see, the flexi tube there, which came packaged individually. Slight downside, some of the other grease guns come with the flexi tube supplied, but this came supplied with the rigid tube, which is in here. Um, but I've decided to put them on the flexi tube because the actual body of the grease gun is quite large. And to get in underneath the MG, which is fairly low, it's not going to fit with the solid tube on. So, uh, flexi tube it is. My, my old grease gun was. Uh, silver line, which did not last very long, um, so this is what I bought. Um, all in, this came to about £16 for the grease gun and the flexi tube. I had some grease here in the garage, um, but we'll be buying some more. This grease gun holds 500 cc's of grease. Um, it could also take cartridges, or you can do the old school syringe draw up from the carton, which is what I've been doing, but um, it's pretty messy, so once I've used up all my grease, I'm probably going to move to cartridges. Um, first impressions, very stur sturdy built. Quality, feels good when you're working on it, doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart. Um, the lockout is pretty strong, and the spring is also very strong, so you know the air is well bled out of it whenever you come to it. Um, all The only assembly you have to do is to screw the flexi pipe onto the body of the grease gun, or the rigid if you want to use that, and you're good to go. Um, so as I said, I fill this by hand from the pot of grease, and using the suction drop, um, although I will be keen to move to the pre-filled cartridges, as I'm pretty sure they'll be less messy. I've been used to using a trigger type grease gun, so this is my first sort of side pump one. Um, the good, nice thing about the trigger is that you can do it one-handed, whereas this one needs to do two hands. But the balance of it is that you get a larger capacity with this. Um, so, good things. It's good size. Good seems to be good quality for what I've used it for so far. I did the front trunnions on the MGB there this afternoon. I filled them nicely. Um, Good capacity means you're not constantly refilling it, which was a pain with the smaller handheld trigger silver line one I had before. Um, and thankfully this one hasn't broken, which is always a good thing. Um, downsides, it didn't have the flexi pipe included, which was a bit of a pain. So you had to buy that extra, I think it was an extra couple of pounds. Um, I think they could have included that. So there you go. This is my new laser grease gun. Hope you find that review useful. Pretty short and sweet. Um, Usual service will return soon, but that's why I'm reviewing these tools because a lot of the classic cars have needed a lot of just routine maintenance, oil changes, greasing, things that aren't really particularly glamorous for um, a YouTube video. So hopefully that's useful to you. Um, and any comments, I always reply to them. And please hit subscribe to keep up to date with all my current projects. Thanks very much and see you next week.